Hi folks, this is Goody K3NG giving you a quick update on where things sit with the K3NG Arduino rotator controller and the development of the Nexion uh, display code. I'll hit the reset button here on the Arduino so you can see the uh, system start up. This is the initial splash screen and we go right into the main screen here. As you can see, obviously, we have the azimuth and elevation being displayed. Uh, we have buttons for initiating a rotation. Uh, down at the bottom of the screen, I have the clock in the lower left, uh, GPS status. Right now, we uh, have five satellites, uh, grid, locator, coordinates, and uh, elevation. Uh, there's navigation buttons up here where you can scroll through screens. This is a con going to be a conf configuration screen. Nothing there right now. Uh, diagnostics, going to have something like debug logging in this. And then there's an about screen showing you the Arduino code version and the version of the uh, Nexion uh, display definition. And we go back to the main screen. Um, here you can touch on either the azimuth or the elevation readings and it'll put you into a data entry screen and here you can enter an azimuth or an elevation depending on what you clicked on there and you can initiate rotation to a specific heading so let's say I wanted to go to 98.6 degrees enter and we come back to the main screen and you can see that we're rotating counterclockwise to 98.6 degrees and uh, just to show you I'm not lying you can enter the elevation as well and let's just say 140 degrees and there you see now we're elevating um, up and I'll hit stop to uh, stop the elevation Having a little bit of an issue with the uh, the buttons on the screen, still looking into this. Sometimes I'm, I'm not registering button presses on the Arduino, like here. Um, there, you saw I had to hit that button twice. And then up. Um, so still, still working on that, still debugging that. Um, I'm also working on uh, secondary and tertiary screens here. If you touch either one of these... Um, of the uh, azimuth or elevation labels there. This is going to be a preset screen. You'll have uh, up to nine presets that you can define and they're going to be more than just presets. They're basically going to be macros. So you could say you could make a macro and um, have it rotate to an azimuth, an azimuth and elevation. You could make one of these a stop button um, rotate left, rotate right, basically anything that you can do now in the command line interface I intend to put into these presets and again they're, they're probably more aptly called um, macros and uh, also going to have a, a, a third screen here uh, that you can navigate to that'll have things like uh, moon and sun tracking and, and maybe some other functions I haven't quite determined that yet um, so I think that's that's about it for the development right now. Um, I know it may not look like much, but it was a lot of work to do that. And just to show everyone what my test jig looks like, this mess right here is uh, what I use for testing out rotator quote, code with Omega, a breadboard. And you'll notice there's an LCD display that's also operating uh, in parallel at the same time with the, uh, the Nexion display. So uh, stay tuned here. There will definitely be more code coming up, but just like I said, I wanted to give everybody a quick update on where things uh, sit with this. 73, stay safe and stay healthy.